that what you take away, at least whatever you take away from this, is that you can remember this word, okay? This tips, tips from Helen. <laughs> okay, now the, the now I'm just going to I just want to say that the acts thing is good. It's just that because it actually is the same order. Acts A C T S is in the order that Jesus modeled, which is we should always praise God first, and then we should confess and we should thank. And that's why I like the acts for years. But it doesn't have inter accessory prayer intercession and intercession is very different and i will go through each one right now okay so the tips is this t-i-p-s which is nice and easy i'll give you a tip this is the tips t is thanksgiving right so thanksgiving is we should always be thanksgiving this includes our praise our adoration our worship for the lord right the first thing we should do is lord we, we just praise you and we honor you and that's the first thing in our heart before we ask for anything we should say thanks and then this is I, this is the intercession, okay? Now, intercessory, the word is basically, when you're interceding with someone, we are doing something on behalf. So you are praying on behalf of someone. So if someone asks me to pray for them, I am praying on behalf of them. Just like when Jesus was praying on behalf of us to the Father. He was interceding. Jesus Christ is the, the only and the greatest perfect priesthood when he came down as a human, right? He's the perfect priest and he is our meteor. So he intercedes on our behalf. When we do intercessory prayer, we're not, we are considered, we're adopted into priesthood. We are like interceding for other people. You don't have to have a special gift, okay? Intercession is for all believers. So I want to let you know that intercessory prayer is for the Christian, a believer who received Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. And I'm going to get into a little bit more why it's important because it is crucial. And I'm going to get into the topic later on, um, different types of prayers. And at the end, the practical way, exactly why we need to pray right now during this COVID-19, ex exactly why it's so much more important now. It's always important, but more so now. And then later on, I'm going to go over a practical detail so that we don't get overwhelmed with this whole, all these things to pray. Because there is so much to pray for, like really so much. So I'm going to share with you my experience, but it doesn't mean it's the perfect example, but just give you an idea to give you recommendations to help you build your own. Okay, got it? So, all right. The P now stands for penitent. Penitent is, okay, that's a fancy word, but I need to put that in, right? Penitent is basically like we're feeling remorse. It's not just confession. It's deeper than confession. We are actually repenting. We ask God that we're so sorry. Like we need to apologize to God. Okay, the penitent is penitent prayers. And this is really, really important because as I get into but later on is in order for us to have an effective prayer, we need to be holy and righteous before God. Now, we know that none of us are holy and none of us is righteous. But because of the cross, Easter, we just finished Easter, Christ died for us. And he exchanged our sins and he gave us his righteousness on us. So that we can now have the power and authority to pray in his name. So that's very different. And when it's just like the COVID, and I'm thinking, I'll get into it now. You know, right now they're asking us to wash our hands and our soap as soon as you get outside and you do your groceries. Right? You gotta put your mask on, you gotta wash your hands immediately because you just catch germs, right? So it's the same thing. Even though when Christ died for us and he took away our sins, and yes, we're completely, our sins are gone and we're clear to pass. But if we go every day in a fallen world, because we're not perfect yet, we kind of like catch like the sins of the world, like, you know, germs. And we don't, we can't see it unintentionally or intentionally. We don't know that we're sinning every day. So it's really important when we come home and at nighttime, we actually ask the Lord, you know, Lord, I don't know. Will you tell me if I did anything wrong today? Please let me know. And I want to confess that to you. And, and if it is, reveal it and give us space your time to pray and just wait silently, listen. And God will tell you through the Holy Spirit, which I'll get into later again. And we will confess that and remove it. And it's really important because we want a clear, good relationship with God. And again, I'll get into it later on when we talk about when we pray, we must always be in a right relationship with God in any of these. Thanksgiving, intercessory, penitence, and S is supplication. What is supplication? Supplication is basically 
we do ask for prayers too, but it is actually for ourselves. Okay, so that's the big difference. So I want to say I is actually opposite. I is intercessory. I pray for others. Intercessory. I pray for others. S is for us. It's special for us. Supplication is for ourselves. It's like I is interceding is when Daniel was a great example in the Old Testament. He prayed for the nations, but he lumped himself in, right? We are far away from you, Lord. We need you. Save us. Have mercy. We are interceding for the rest of the nation. We include ourselves. Interceding for the, everyone. We're praying on behalf of everyone. So I interceding, interceding. Lord, have mercy on us. We need you. That's me, myself, because I'm part of the nation. S is when Hannah, for example, Hannah was praying fervently for herself. Lord, please help me have a baby, have a child, and I will dedicate to you. Supplication is an inward heart of just praying and humbly coming before our Lord with petition. Okay?